Hello and good evening, everyone. I am Mr. Chaos, the Cunning Wolf. And uh, tonight I'm going to be reacting to uh, MLP Season 7, Episode 7, uh, Parental, uh, Parental Glidance. Yeah, it's, it's, it's Glidance instead of Guidance. Like, it's a pun with the word Glide. So, with what the title suggests, I'm... I'm not really sure what to make of this episode. Like, Glide... This is going to be like a Rainbow Dash episode? Oh, that's going to be awesome, but... I really have no theories, like... Parental... Glidance, uh... Is there going to be some parents involved in this episode? Wait... Rainbow Dash's parents? Could it be? This is just a wild guess here. Or is it going to be Scootaloo's parents? Like, is the question, is Scootaloo homeless or, you know, like an orphan going to be answered? I don't know, but, I mean, the title intrigues me. And I guess it's going to be a Rainbow Dash episode? I don't know. I mean, those are really the only theories I have for this episode. So, yeah, um, I'm excited. So, yeah, enough talking. Without further ado, let's get started. Uh, a catapult? Oh, wait. Is this gonna be another one of Scootaloo's attempts to fly? Who's that? A nice lighting. No way. Oh, <laughs> what? You can't. And this is a unique. In <laughs> that. Fa Scootaloo, stop! You're just like Pinky on the train. Uh, honey, something's going on out here. Yeah, we got a screaming machine that won't stop. She's like a computer. How's that? Her? <laughs> I like how they're I like how they're covering their ears with their wings. I don't know. It looks funny. Stop, Scoot. Thank you. Stop it, Scootaloo! <laughs> but still, this these are her parents. Uh, the reason why I'm so quiet and subtle is because I'm having such a hard time believing it. <laughs> well, that makes sense. I mean, they're her parents, but... I mean, Scootaloo's the, the third biggest fan. That's still an achievement. I can't believe we finally get to meet them. I was about to say that, Scootaloo. Like, okay, that is impressive. For, uh, oh, oh. Okay, that's something how to basic would do. You know, it would be in an episode, How to Make a Diary Entry. Just plop some food onto it. This is awesome so far. I wonder where this episode's gonna go. And wait, why haven't we actually met Rainbow Dash herself yet? Where is she? Is she out, like, flying or something? When the going gets tough, the pups don't notice because they have hard shells. Okay, what you read, it, the sentence sounded a bit longer than what was actually written in. What was even written on that poster anyway? It looked like it was a different language. Installed the sound effects myself. Great, huh? Oh, there's another nice inside joke. You know, other than uh, Starlight Glimmers. They're gonna bond, share love, and if I know them, they're gonna sing a song. And this broken lantern is from when she first learned to fly. <laughs> nice achievement. You don't know that your daughter's a wonderbolt? And I got to tell you. Uh wait wait, they didn't know? How did they not know? See, that's what your faces look like. Obviously. Thank you, Mrs. State the Obvious. How did they not know? <laughs> yes, thank you. It's unbelievable. You two were kind enough to 
show me the Rainbow Dash you know. Now please. I like the design of Rainbow Dash's mom. Like, I had my theories that a Rainbow Dash's dad would have a bit of, like, a more purplish blue. But, ah, uh, there she is. And I like the design of Rainbow Dash's mom. I like her hair. I like how her hair is like a nice tomboy hairstyle. Just like Rainbow Dash. Yeah, you should have warned me that you were bringing my parents. Or talked to Twilight or something. Not just shown up. Why? It's just my parents and I have a delicate relationship. I love them very much and we're really close. But there's a reason I didn't tell them I'm a Wonder Bull. It can be a little bit embarrassing. Yeah, but you could have just told them in person at home, then they would have let it out of their system at home and not in public. What's wrong with a little support? Well, there's... well, Scoodle, I mean, there's such thing as unwanted detention at the time, so yeah. Just like how people don't like being bothered by paparazzi. <laughs> it doesn't help that there's very few ponies in the stand. <laughs> They're all like... Uh, you keep your distance, guys. You keep your distance. Whoa! Since when did we add fireworks to the show? Uh. Oh no. Oh no, what? You can blow up the whole stand! <laughs> guys, come on! Uh. Okay, guys. Okay, this situation is still pretty similar to, uh, you know, somebody not wanting the, the paparazzi, you know, on their flank all the time. Get up there. You're the top. You really do got yourself your very own mega fans. Lucky you. Oh, not in the locker room. Come on. Come on. Uh, okay, no, now you're just getting ridiculous. All she did was hang it. Trying to be so That's what I was wondering. I'm tired of it. I've had enough of you two being so proud of every little ridiculous, insignificant thing I do. I think you should leave. First of all, great job yelling at us, sweetie. No one. <laughs> what? Come on. Your is still more worthless than you. Your words were direct, clear, and so honest. Great. <laughs> Even in sadness or like that. You don't understand. I met your parents hoping to learn more about you, but I don't like what I found out. I'll find some pony else to do my hero report on. Come on, that wasn't really Rainbow Dash's fault, I mean. Well, that, well, that's kind of like your new self. I mean, you were kind of that angry during Tanks for the Memories, too. I'm so proud of you. <sighs> Can I tell you something? Sure. Okay, but you might want to hold on to your wings because this could rock you to your very core. Believe it or not, there was a time when I wasn't the best at everything. <gasps> See this picture? It looks like I want something awesome, but actually... And last but not least, it's time to hand out our participant stickers. Yeah! Oh. Did they just call her a show-off? Uh, 
of those guys again. Hey, is that Soren? And Lightning Dust? Oh, come on. Did they just call her a show-off again? It's like their parents are addicted to Instagram or Twitter. Well, not, not really. I mean, I mean, you don't even have to cheer somebody on constantly, but yet they can still soar for the stars. Not really. I mean, you were brutally honest with them. You did the right thing. I'm feeling like this is a bit of a cop out direction. There wasn't really an error. Oh, it's called Bull. Oh, his name is Bull Haldwolf. I thought it was Rainbow Blitz. Oh, hun, thank you. But you didn't have to do all this. It's kind of embarrassing. It is a bit much. Well, serves you right, and still, Rainbow Dash doesn't really have much to apologize for. Inspirational pony in my life. Thank you, Scootaloo. Very well researched. But a little heavy on the pictures, and there was a moldy sandwich in your report. <laughs> Thank you, Cheerily! Yeah! Thank you, put it in the trash! Thank you. Okay, I mean, that, I mean, that started off awesome, and it, and its pacing was awesome as well, but, uh, uh, when I really sum it all up, this episode was, like, through the, through this, like, when we finally saw Rainbow Dash's parents, I thought, Oh, <laughs> this is going to be a 10 out of 10 episode for sure. But I don't think I don't think Rainbow Dash was really wrong to really snap at her parents like that because if if my family was like that, I would kind of snap and do the same thing as well. Like as I said, Rainbow Dash can also be a similar example of somebody who's like really famous and they don't want the paparazzi on their flank all the time. That's basically what Rainbow Dash's mom and dad were being. So I personally believe that Rainbow Dash wasn't wrong to snap at them like that. And it, it kind of broke my heart a little bit to see to, to see even Scootaloo say, huh, yeah. I wanted to know a lot about you, Rainbow Dash, but this I really didn't want to know about. And she just tosses her scrapbook on the ground and just runs off. I thought Scootaloo would have stayed with Rainbow Dash. Like, sh she'd be like, wow, Rainbow, I didn't know your your parents were really pestering you this much. No, instead Scootaloo runs out on her as well. Like, I don't think, I don't think Rainbow Dash should have been like, forced to really make anything up in this episode. I think later there just should have been, you know, another confrontation with her parents saying, you know, look, I do love you and all, and I know you love me and all, but there is such thing as too much support. <laughs> and they'd be like, is that even a thing? And Rainbow Dash is, again, like, yes! There's, there's a difference between supporting and then just annoying. But I, I just felt a bit disappointed to, to see where, to see the direction that this episode went in near the end. I mean, yeah, it was nice to see, you know, Rainbow Dash and her parents all happy again at the end. And, 
you know, um, Scootaloo getting a bit of a taste of the medicine that Rainbow Dash felt, you know, during her school presentation. And poor Cheerilee's like, guys, this isn't a rock concert here, we're trying to have a class. And it ends with a nice smile on Scootaloo's face. I mean, she, she knows that she's learning how Rainbow Dash felt, and I guess that's also why she has a bit of a smile on her face instead of just a, Ugh, I know how she felt kind of face. So, I mean, the ending was good. Uh, again, I didn't really fully like the direction this episode went. Like, if it felt like a cop-out to... To me, it kind of felt like a cop-out to make Rainbow Dash look kind of like the bad guy all because she yelled at her, her at her parents and the parents are the nicest people in the world because they're like over supportive i find that that was a bit of a childish way to go like if you know what i mean like some of you may not agree and if you don't i mean that's fine it's all your opinion and everything but it's what i felt personally but other than that there really isn't any other laws about this episode I the highlight is we got to see her parents like come on like I, I okay I thought her her dad's name was gonna be rainbow blitz like you know it was determined but no it was bull hard hoof um but I mean I guess it had to come down to an actual name but Still, I mean, Rainbow Blitz wasn't really a bad name, but okay, I'll stop about that. And Windy Whistles, I mean, it's a, pretty, it's a bit of a hyper name. Like, I thought she would have more of a tougher name, but eh, eh, it's what was done was done. Um, but yeah, meeting meeting them was awesome and all, and <laughs> just meeting them was, I mean, hilarious. I especially like the part where he opens the room with the massive light, and there's this music sound effects like it's so beautiful, bask in its glory. But then it stops, and he's like, eh, yeah, I put that sound effect in there myself. <laughs> yeah, I thought that was the actual music in the episode, which made me feel that, is that like another audio inside joke or something? I mean, I don't know if they're directly the same, but... You remember when Starlight Glimmer says in All Bottled Up, They're gonna bond, share love, and if I, if I, and if I know them, they're gonna sing a song. Like, and then here, Rainbow Dash's dad is like, <laughs> Oh, um, that music? Yeah, I put that on the speakers. It's so awesome. <laughs> yeah, uh, that, that was funny. Like, it, it, it feels awkward. That's why it's funny. <laughs> like, we think it's the real music, but then all of a sudden it's just really an audio track. Uh... But, I did like the lesson in this episode, like, I wonder if, you know, if parents ever see this episode, like, actual parents, they might think, you know, they can sometimes be a little over-supportive, and sometimes they can end up, you know, embarrassing their kids in front of their friends. And, uh, yeah, I, I really like how, you know, now they had, you know, the show touch upon this, like, moral and lesson. And, uh... Yeah, once again, it, it it just disappointed me with where with with what direction the episode went in near the end of the episode. I I just felt that it could have been better. Like, let's face it, Rainbow Dash. It was it really wasn't Rainbow Dash's fault that she you know. Well, I mean she did it, but you know it was needed. You know they needed brutal honesty. Like they were just pushing her and pushing her and pushing her. And after all that, you really expect her to say. Oh, Mom, come on, you're humiliating me. No, she actually takes a stand and she's like, Seriously? And you even say, Go, Rainbow Dash, you put a towel over a door. Even I realized that was ridiculous before she actually brought it up. But, I know Rainbow Dash is not actually watching this, but, Rainbow, you still got my bro hoof. You're still my girl. Like... Like, you didn't do anything wrong. Like, you did what you needed to do. You did what a Wonderbolt needed to do. Okay. But, um... Yeah, other than that, I, I, I really like this episode. And, <laughs> yeah, Scootaloo was making a lot of cute and f really weird and funny faces. And... <sighs> Seriously, she put a sandwich in her... Bu and you can still see it drying up and everything on the sandwich as she's trying to close it. Like, it's obviously creating a barrier from the book actually closing fully. <laughs> How to Basic would be proud of her. He really would. Uh, 
there really anything else to say about this episode? Not really. It's 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 just I I really liked I did really like the moral of this episode. Like it showed that over support can be a thing. You know, it's good to support somebody, but it's not always good to you know get in their way all the time. It's good to compliment them from time to time, but only during the times when it's needed. If you do it for, like, all their life, like, if you say, Hey, he, he just brushed his teeth. Yes, he's so awesome. Or, he just took the biggest dump ever. He's awesome. Like, you know, th th this episode really did show, you know, the lesson of over-worshipping something quite, quite nicely. And, yeah, it just goes to show that, you know, th there exist parents out there who will, you know, be crazy like these parents and... You know, in my opinion, those kind of parents really need to know how to be silent at times. Like, they gotta know that there are times, like, I know it's their daughter or son or whoever they're cheering for or whatever, but they still gotta keep their maturity. It's like Miss Harsh when he said, Hey, hey, keep professional. Keep professional. We're not getting over hyper. We're supposed to stay mature. Professional? Calm. <laughs> now that it came to me... It would be a little funnier if Miss Harsh when he for, was so, some somehow appeared in this episode. Like she, like for example, she's sitting in the audience as well, and she realizes the disturbance uh, Rainbow Dash's parents are causing, and she's like, huh, "I know you don't work for me, but don't you think there should be a little bit of professionalism here?" <laughs> that would have been funny. Just picture that if Miss Harsh when he was actually saying. Huh, they, those two really need to, really need to stay mature here. <laughs> that would have been funny, but it wasn't done, but... Still, this is episode alone. I mean, it had a lot of its funny parts, obviously. And, yeah, I really liked it. Um, so, how much would that little flaw I pointed out really decrease from my 10 out of 10 rating? Because I want, I really did want to give this episode a 10 out of 10, but I just really feel that it wasn't fully right for them to go in the direction with Rainbow Dash, you know, apologizing at the end of the episode. Like, it wasn't really her job to apologize, it was really her parents. And they, they took the criticism, well, not really, well, yeah, Rainbow Dash was harshly criticizing them on their support, but they did need to hear it. Like, they were just pestering their their daughter, like, to the brink of... She was just humiliated when she was just trying to do what she loved. And, you know, no kid should feel that way. So, I applaud Rainbow Dash for, you know, bursting at her parents like this. At that, at this, because... Again, it showed that Rainbow Dash couldn't keep her anger all bottled up either. She had to let it go. But, um... I think because of that, I think I would give the episode about a 9 out of 10. Because everything else is great. I mean, the lesson is good, and, you know, the, her parents' personalities, is, aside from them being over-supportive, they look nice, and, you know, their design is very nice. I mean, I like their hairstyles and everything. And I like how Rainbow Dash's dad, just like in all the, you know, fan art and everything, is a more dark purplish-blue color. So I, I like the design of Rainbow Dash's parents. And... Yeah, so in the end, I would honestly give this episode a 9 out of 10. If only they went in a better direction with, you know, the ending. You know, if Scootaloo actually stayed and Rainbow Dash actually confronted her parents again, but in a more calm state because she finally let all that anger out. I would have liked that a little more. But what was done was done. So in the end, I give this episode a 9 out of 10. But I really loved it. Probably one of the best MLP episode reactions I've done pretty much this year. So far, you know, one of my most favorite episodes of the season is still all bottled up because I like the story other than the kind of pointless song, but yeah. <sighs> Alright, so uh, that was my reaction to and review on MLP Season 7, Episode 7, Parental Glidance. So yeah, this was this was really good. So yeah, if you guys have your thoughts about this episode, and you know if you guys kind of agree with me with that flaw I kind of pointed out, just leave it in the comments below. Share your you know your thoughts as well. And yes, yeah, so thank you all for joining me this evening. If you enjoy the contents on my channel, please don't forget to subscribe. Only if you actually enjoy the contents on my channel, never just because I ask you to. And as always, I will see you guys 
in the next video that I do. Bro hoof to everyone, and I will see you next time.